Now, this was the scene in New York City during the last El Nino winter back in 2019. Take a look at that. Now, El Nino years can often mean a little bit more snow, especially for spots in the east. So I want to bring in now Fox Southern's Ian Oliver, who's here to break it all down. Ian, the snow, it isn't here just yet, but it could potentially start arriving soon for some. Yeah, one would think that we won't have to wait as long as last year, Kendall, the winter that wasn't. But yes, when you get into an El Nino season or a strong El Nino year, which is what we're expecting, I think about it like a, a home run hitter. We see less in the sense of uh, these dink and dunk storms and more potential for storms like nor'easters that can provide scenes like you just showed us uh, from several years back in New York City. So this is the typical El Nino impacts, warmer across the northern tier, less snow in places like the upper Midwest, you get a strong Pacific jet stream that's displaced farther off to the south. That does promote more atmospheric river type setups as we look over toward California, the Sierra, and the southern Rockies. This is where we expect more snow in any given El Nino winter. Less snow across interior parts of the northeast, the Great Lakes region, and then back across the upper Midwest. This is just a regular old El Nino, but those impacts are exaggerated when we talk about a strong El Nino. This at least compared uh, to the averages from 1991 to 2020, the 30 year averages, you see some of that blue along the immediate coastline away from the coast again, drier or less snow, but it does present that blockbuster nor'easter potential. That's the outlook for December through February. It does have an El Nino look. Something I want to point out though for folks down in the southeast, Kendall, this is a cooler, wetter setup. It also brings a severe weather potential. Living down in Tampa for a few of those El Nino winters, the severe weather can be relentless with strong fronts moving in off the Gulf of Mexico, rotating storms. We'll have to watch for that over the next several months. Yeah, I have to watch the impact of the El Nino this winter. Ian, thanks so much. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.